problem with this prayer is it is incredibly, incredibly slow. I don't know what we're going to do for sprayers long term because long term I'd like to have something besides this sprayer. But the problem is all the like there's no in-game ones that have the the smart spray technology for precision. So we might have to pick up a tow behind uh, or a modded one, you know. Just saying. You finally got flight sim to work correctly. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's right, Biggie. You were having trouble with. That's good, man. It's good. I think I'm sick. Why? I see round bells flying over me. <laughs> you cannot buy from PC Part Picker. PC Part Picker is just a... Oh, what's it called? It's just, it's just where you build it virtually. Now, there are links you can click through and go. It'll tell you... It'll tell you, like, what it thinks the best price is for different websites. It'll do, like, Best Buy, Amazon... Newegg, like those kind of sites. I prefer just buying everything from Amazon, but that's just me. But it's a great place to go and kind of like play around with different things. They'll tell you a total at the end. Of course, your price may vary a little bit when you actually go to build it, you know. Uh, left, all I added was the uh, multi-fruit harvest thingy. It's available in the Mod Hub and it's also in Google Drive. Will it crash like 12 times? That's not bad, Biggie. Not bad. What type of farm sim gaming setup do I got? Uh, mouse and keyboard. Yeah. I am a mouse and keyboard gamer. Yep, build a PC, yep. Yeah, if you're thinking about doing anything with the PC, I would highly recommend PC Part Picker. Yeah, Mr. Bob, what's going on? How are you? Top top the list. Oh, no fire. That's not good. That's not good at all, man. Hopefully you don't need a new one, huh? Oh, that's... Uh, yeah, Mr. Bob, I saw your uh, Christmas photos in Discord. Looks Looks great looks great I'm, I'm all about people that participate in decorating outside for Christmas I'm all about it I don't care what it is honestly I'm here for it yes man oh, the fans oh, okay fire that's not that bad though to swap a swap a fan. That's not a huge deal then. That's good. I'm glad that's all it was, not the like the pump. Which would make the thing a you know, a paperweight. Oh, diesel, we still have the tractor, the two tippers. I tried to sell the tippers earlier, but it won't let me. So we're just stuck with two tippers, a tractor, and actually a harvester as well so we're just kind of stuck with them uh for right now so yeah it's the whole thing fans drop have to remove the gpu to get to it gone show okay no, I mean, the tractor's good. Uh, the harvester we can only use on fields that aren't ours. We probably won't use that, but the tractor's nice. Tippers are okay. Drive the street has all the lights that dance with music. That's my... I would love to do that, but I probably never will. <laughs> it's so time-consuming and expensive to do all that. Uh, there's a guy in the area, you can look him up on YouTube, actually, Never Enough Lights. Never Enough Lights on YouTube. He's kind of in my area, but, like, not. I, I have to drive, like, 30 minutes to get to his house. Uh, I've seen his house multiple times. Like, we've been there to see his lights. I think he's up to, like, 36,000 pixels, I think is what he put on his in his YouTube description. 
Um, he's got tons of videos, and it just doesn't do it justice, though. It's so much better in person. And we try to get out there every Christmas, every other Christmas, something like that, to see his lights. We'll probably go out this year. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got family coming to town after Christmas. Probably go out then. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully we get out there at some point. But uh, it's wild. Never enough lights on YouTube. Never enough lights.com actually is this website. And uh, it's wild what he's able to do. Wild, wild, wild. I would love to, but I probably never will. But I like what I have with, like, the snowmen. So, like, I'm kind of in that world with the, like, synchronizing. But, like, I'm not. Because, like, I use the same products that people used to use when they did, like, the old school lights. Now, the, the pixels, that's just a whole different thing, you know? But, yeah. Auto drive guy makes life easy for sure. Oh, absolutely. Yep, that's another great YouTube channel. Is auto auto drive guy. You betcha. But yeah, I'll probably never go to like a, a full pixel display or a full synchronized display. I should sync the music, Nikki. I don't have the stuff to sync everything to music, bro. It would cost thousands of dollars at this point to do that. So, if you want to pay for it, um, <laughs> I'll send you my PayPal link. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so, Ambush Mom, there's a few ways to go about it. Um, I don't know his exact setup, obviously, but like the the original people, I right, the original people that did like the whole synchronizing to, to music, uh, they used a product called a Lightarama. Okay, and a Lightarama controller, Lightarama is a company, but their their controller that they have, uh, basically you have two power inputs and sixteen power outputs out of this box. And it's like a computer board inside of like a weatherproof box. And I've got two of them. And basically there's an ad. Of course there's an ad. Why wouldn't there be an ad? <laughs> we'll talk about it in a minute. <laughs> do, 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 do. Where's the Jeopardy music? Is that Trent floating in the air over there? It is. Shocker. Shocker, shocker, shocker. Oh man. Yeah, we're getting this knocked out anyway. I'm on the on the long passes now and I think he's up there doing his thing. So we'll be we'll be fine. That little spot of that that garden needs to be plowed. We should we can't buy that. We can't plow it. Dang. That's gonna go help, but no. We can't do it. Neighborhood. You have to sign an agreement that you'll decorate. Wow. Um, that's crazy. Black Sheep, we have a candy cane lane in St. Louis, too. It doesn't quite sound as extravagant as that candy cane lane but like our candy cane candy cane lane's really cool too we go we try to get down there every every couple years too all right sandwich mom there's a product called lightarama you can look it up it just google uh actually i i buy them from uh, a website called wow lights wow lights it's a great website and uh basically two powers in 16 powers out so you have you know eight and eight right different sides you could in theory run up to 15 amp per, 15 amps per side i'm running all led so like i don't care um and then there's a program here you know what i'm just gonna show you because i don't care here you go hold on uh this program this is the program that you control everything with well not that but like this okay so this is the program right so every little square that you're seeing is a half second in real time. Okay, so this is the programming for my snowmen. 
and basically my snowmen they throw snowballs back and forth at each other so like this is the start to throw these are the snowballs in between and then this is like what is this i forget what this is this is probably like a miss i have like hit and miss and different things and so then it just stays on and then it melts it fades and then the other guy's gonna throw a snowball and then do something and then the other guy and back and forth right and then like up top here that's my mailbox which i actually didn't put those lights on but whatever uh, and then like these squares here, the red, the blue, the green, and the white right here, that's like the, uh, OMG sign that's over in my buddy's yard. So it's like, OMG and then the arrow, OMG arrow. And then the very bottom one is a tree that I have in my yard. It just kind of flips back and forth between like white and multi is these last two channels. So I've got 32 channels that I can control. And, uh, as you can just see, it, it just goes back and forth or like here, both snowmen throw a snowball at the same time. And then it does different things to the snowmen themselves, uh, which is cool. And it's about, I think I did about five minutes and then just repeated it. And technically this is about, uh, this is a 15 minute show. And I think there's actually about five minutes of unique stuff. And then it just repeats it because nobody's out there looking at the lights for that long anyway. So like, who cares, you know? But that's how people used to do it. So you got to think about this. If a house had 128 channels, it has to, you know, you'd have to scroll down and, and then you can actually have, you can import music into that program and you have a sound wave across the top and then you can just like click to whatever the sound wave is. And that's how people used to do it. Nowadays, Buddy Ryan, what's up, man? Nowadays, people are using uh, pixel lights, and you still have to have a little control box, but it's like uh, it's a it's it's a lot different. And then people are using a program called X Lights, which is a open source program that is made by the community, you know, and it does things a lot different. Um, I've looked into it a little bit, but for what I do, the Lightarama software is what I need because, well, you know, I have Lightarama boxes, so it just kind of kind of makes sense so i know way too much about it, all of this and like i'm very passionate about it so sorry if i'm coming off like a little little word vomity right now but like i don't know man i just think it's fun <laughs> so what we're thinking about doing next year i'm thinking about doing not so much not so much my dad but i want to build a light tunnel over the driveway okay you're going to post your Christmas display in Discord? Please do. We have a whole channel for Christmas lights uh, in Discord. I want to build a tunnel over the driveway. And the dilemma is, do we just build a tunnel where all the lights are on? Or do we build a tunnel where every light string that runs down the tunnel can be controlled separately by that program, the Lightarama stuff? That's the That's the real question right now, you know? I mean, it would add quite a bit of expense, but it's the Christmas lights, so there's no budget, you know, whatever it takes. Uh, it'd be a lot cheaper to just do, like, on instead of a tunnel, but a t or, or instead of the control, you know, but racing lights. I mean, you could do all kinds of fun stuff, Diesel, right? All kinds. Want to do more lights? Gotcha. Gotcha, Bushman. Gotcha. So that's kind of the dilemma that I'm having right now. Like, do I want to buy control boxes and, like, <sighs> go all that? Or do I just want to do, like, a, I just do a static tunnel where the lights are just on, you know? There's no budget for Christmas lights. Uh, make it look like a warp tunnel. Well, Diesel, what I'm thinking is the lights, each string, um, so if you're standing in the street, the arch is going to be from left to right, going up, up and over the driveway, right? And then you would run lights between the arches, so going, like, with the driveway, and then I'd be able to control, in theory, I'd be able to control every strand of lights going with the driveway. It would be the theory. So, yeah. Try 
tractor trailer loads of oh wow and try to stabilize sheep that's crazy it would be cool diesel but i just i don't i don't know i started doing some rough like figuring out uh, I don't know if I want to make the sun or the make the uh, the synchronized part, the the flashy part. The tunnel would be really cool though. This posted in the Christmas light channel. I am so looking right now. Stand by. Stand by. I see a video. I'm not gonna watch the video right now because I don't know if there's music. I don't know if there's music. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm here for it. Heck yeah. I like that tree. Those are huge candy canes, by the way, aren't they? Those are massive. How tall are those candy canes? <laughs> Good lord. I like the blow molds on the step, too. I, the blow molds are like... Blow molds are the best, okay? They're so classic and so just like... They're so awesome, you know? I've got... I, I don't have enough. I need more. I want the Santa and the, and the reindeer. But the problem is I have nowhere to hang it. I want to, like... I've always wanted to hang that. So, you know, look look good. But I have nowhere to hang it in my yard anymore. Because we don't have any trees to, like, you know... Hang stuff from. And then I've always kind of wanted like the full nativity too, and even build like a little major and and stuff, you know. But I don't have that stuff. Don't have it. Let me use four foot candy canes. Holy cow, that's awesome! Plant new trees. Is that the solution, Diesel? <laughs> Plant trees, wait like 10 years. Then I can, you know, I can set them up. Yo, Carson, what's up, man? How you doing? What's popping? Chat, it's Carson. I'm gonna say hi to Carson. I don't know, Sean. Did Carson do, do what he was supposed to? I don't know. I, was, I don't know. Don't know. Not sure. Not sure. I'm young. Well, I could buy like one reindeer a year and then when I collect them all. Right? There we go. <laughs> there you go. But you know, I'm the I'm the redneck that would put like 30 deer out there. I, you know, I just got to have more. Never enough, never enough reindeer, you know, I am. Bankers trees made of C9 lights. Nice. Gotta plant them all. Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. That's made out of C9s, huh? All right. All right. All right. I am so like trying uh trying 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 to get away from uh in or not incandescent well obviously incandescent but mini lights i'm trying to get away from mini lights as much as possible i'm a big i'm a big c7 fan myself c7s are life y'all I actually think about redoing all my uh, all my windows too for next year. Right now there are mini lights. I'm thinking about C7s. Uh, two flagpoles that aren't for flags. <laughs> Not a bad idea. I am anti mini light cars, and I have nothing but trouble with them. Oh, I've got literally two um, trash cans full of uh, dead lights right now. You're finishing your lights tonight, Mike Carson. Carson, did you adjust things in rest? If if not, that's fine. I was curious for my schedule for tomorrow. Because I'm 
I'm hoping to play Rust tomorrow night on stream. Hopefully, 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 play Rust tomorrow. The Christmas event starts technically today. Uh, the wipe is also today. Um, yeah, Christmas event in Rust starts today, so I'm hoping to start playing tomorrow. Take better care of my lights. Uh, I can't control that they're junk. <laughs> You're gonna be doing C9, a spool of C9 and LED. Yes. Uh, ATS is soon. I just don't know when. Maybe a week from Friday. Uh, Diesel. It'll be a Friday night for sure. Uh, I'm a big believer in spools of lights. Big believer in the in the spool of wire. Buying your own lights. I'm a C7 guy. Oh. I've been doing a lot of that. All of my snowmen. That's when I first started this whole thing was the snowmen. Uh, the snowman project. I actually custom placed every socket on those strands. Custom placed every socket on those strands. So I started with bare wire and I had the sockets separate. And then I placed every single one on there. And then, um, let's see. I bought a spool of wire sometime along the line of C7 green wire. I don't really know why, but I have a spool of that. And then I used most of a 250 foot spool this year redoing arches. Oh. Full pixel light show next year? Absolutely not, Carson. Carson, have you seen any of the Never Enough Lights guys videos? He's got like 36,000 pixels now. Which is just crazy. Oh, I kind of like the look of like what I call, you know, traditional Christmas lights. I, the pixels are great. But I'm kind of more of an old school. You're going to have a friend build a custom star for the tree night. That's it. Uh, yeah. Essex, yeah. Yeah, they do. They do lights, yeah. Oh, man. Carson, did you mess with stuff in res? You never did answer me. The homestead needs Christmas lights. Yeah, it does. Oh, Trant. Trant. T Rant. All right, we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. He joins and then he leaves. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so what are we waiting for? We're waiting for um, either a really good price for soup. Um, uh, not that soup. We want we want this soup, the triple soup. Which really we don't have that much. I guess we could probably go haul a little bit around if we wanted to. We don't have to though. We really don't have to. Actually, never mind. We probably should head up there and uh, empty the um, preserved food factory because that's gonna fill up before anything else. So, yeah, we can go up there and move that. Carson never has answered my questions yet. Just a simple yes or no is all I need to need from here, Carson. If you haven't done it yet, that's totally fine. I just need to know for my schedule. That's it, yeah. That's it. Because if we don't, if it's not, which is fine, we'll, we'll play rest maybe Monday. But I was hoping to do tomorrow because it wipes and everything here in a little bit. Actually, it's like any minute now, isn't it? Isn't it? Wipe at like 220 or something central. Something like that, I feel like. I could be wrong. And probably am. All right. Preserved food. Factory. Output. Oh, right here. 
like I said, we probably just need to empty this. I mean, we can sell. I almost feel like you can sell it at any time, you know? Because we sold it like all times a year and it seems fine. That is all. Oh, it is different things. Okay. Different things. Uh, right now, well, there's a bakery somewhere, Mickey. We need to move the flour to the bakery and make some bread. Um, okay. So there's that. What is this stuff even go for? I don't know. Do we need like 24? No, we have 26 right now going up. So I guess we're going to sell. We'll keep fast time until daylight. Uh, before I sell, we'll wait for daylight. This is uh, Zilanka. It's the newest uh, DLC map. The per or whatever, premium edition. Posted a pick in light, six years old, but still fascinating. Okay, hold on. The heck? What the heck is that over there? Is that building falling over or is that a tree? What is that? Oh, you have a description. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't read the comment. I don't think it's meant to be. It looks like a paint. That's crazy. That's weird looking, but I'm here for it. Weird looking, but I'm here for it. Oh, it's on a tree. Okay. Why am I struggle busting so hard to drive across the field right now? Cloud ground? I think it's cloud, huh? All right. Oh, that price just tanked. 24. No, it didn't tank. Never mind. What am I looking at? I'm. Never mind. Don't answer that chat. That's an okay price. These are all okay prices. I think we're just gonna let's just send it. Let's get it. Let's get this cleared out. We'll go ahead and sell uh, the soup, the good soup. We can sell that soup now too. It's over four thousand. So we got a little hauling to do here. That's okay. Like three rep branches. I got you, bro. So, bro. It's an awful lot of lights on, like, it's very bright. I am here for it. I'm here for that $107,000, too. Definitely here for that as well. That's awesome. Oh, thanks. Nothing like selling some uh, preserved food. Something like that. So there's no, I guess this is probably the best road, huh? You get from here to there, there to here. Somewhere along the line here. Oh, buddy. All right, so for those of you that don't know, I just sold it early, Grat, technically. Um, it's where the same, the, the train sells, and it's kind of sketchy, but, like, if you just drive there, that spot of the map, it'll sell where the train sells. Problem is you can't... You can. You can put these on the train, but the problem is if you have too many, it will uh, send them... Uh, it'll make them into confetti. We have an extra we have an extra rider back there uh it makes them into confetti and uh it's kind of an issue so and that was only two of these trailer loads that did that so i'm not gonna rent the train if it's not really gonna work i'll just drive over there and uh sell them you know just sell them now, I know we probably need to get some kind of bigger trailer. I was hoping to find something 
I don't really want to go a semi truck on this map. I want to stay like tractors and trailers instead of a semi truck. I know some people call tractors, but like, you know what I mean? Like tractor and trailers. But I probably should find something a little bit bigger because this just doesn't hold anything. But uh, yeah. Other the other option is the semi, so I don't like that option, especially to sell here in the woods like that. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward. So. Just rather not. That's okay. Arson, I chat. I really don't like that he never answered me. He never said yes or no. He never answered me, chat. Uh, this guy. Can I get the semi? Yeah, it's true, polar bear. True, true, true. I just don't think this map's really very conducive for like semi truck and trailer, you know? I don't think it is. Maybe a straight truck, so like without a trailer, just like the truck. But again, I'm not trying to run a ton of mods, so I don't I don't know. I do like the stackable pallet mod though. If you notice that's why these are triple stacked right here. That's stackable pallet mod. Available in the mod hubs. Pretty cool little mods. Mods like that I'm okay with. Like equipment. You know, we're trying to not run as much. See the other thing you can you can totally cheat with this trailer if you want. Just like, you know. Stack them up. Stack them up. But might make it a little too heavy, but we have the power of the JCB, the mighty power of the JCB. I should really tie those down because, boy, they are moving. Moving and a grooving. So anyway, I guess with Rust chat, uh, to be determined if we're playing tomorrow or not. How about that? To be determined. I think more are going to spawn. Did we clean it out? Did we clean it out? We might have cleaned it out. We basically have cleaned it out. Okay, there is going to be more that spawns, but... The flower's been hauled. Let's go. Alright, so we'll come back for that pallet, then we'll go grab trip soup. And actually, if I, I'll probably fast time a little bit to get that to go. Because we got to fast time, like, we got to go forever. We got to go all the way to freaking barley harvest. We got to go to June. Good Lord. Oh, we definitely need this, right, chat? Bell Barton, hello? Only anybody, anybody see that, okay? Don't let anybody see it. You can set to unlimited. That's no, just a semi truck. Interesting. I don't know that I would use that because that sounds. Um, not that auto load in general is not GD because it is, but we're trying. I took a wrong turn, y'all. <laughs> trying to stay as mod light as possible, so. I'm trying to think of, like, what other thing would I have in the game already that I don't have to add. So, like, the, the that, that TLX, I probably won't add that. One of these times, there's going to be a train here, chat. And it's going to be real funny for y'all. Okay. So, Polar Bear, are you jumping in rest tonight? By chance, or tomorrow? Tonight, maybe? I don't know. 
I guess I'll just have to jump in and see if Carson did his thing or not, you know? Last arms. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm not a, not a fan of that PLX stuff. Just saying. Where's the realism? I don't know. It's with my... Never mind. It's with my emotions swept under the rug. Wow. Uh, we'll sell the soup now, Mickey, and probably later both. But yeah, we got a good price right now, so. So, the need rolled state. The need rolled state is a slight bonus. Uh, if you look here under rollers, it would be one of these guys. That one or the bigger one. You have to do it uh, before your whatever comes up. You have to do it basically right after seeding. Um, it gives you like two and a half percent, I think, maybe a little, little bonus. Um, I personally don't, uh, I don't do it. I don't think it's worth worth it personally so i don't waste the time with it uh except for on grass fields grass fields after you plant uh you can roll it with that for the need rolled and then it will um it will uh not come back basically because you're not you know, you're gonna leave it grass right you lazy for it yourself okay yeah, we just don't do it. Not a not a fan. That tip wagon. What that tip wagon do? Okay. Before getting rich, ten seconds later, John will make his broke again. Wow, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Not wrong at all. That's okay. All right, we'll go see if there's any extra soup. Good soup. Mind that harvester sitting on the fence back there. It's fine, chat. It's totally fine. Yeah, shot. I don't know what we're going to do about that because we don't have any of that to harvest right now. So I'm not worried about. Not worried about making that happen right now, you know? How dare you call them out like that with facts? I walk this lonely road, the only road that I have ever. Chad, I need new friends. Oh, wait. Sorry, friends. What are those? I don't have any of those. No one Chad's in each chat. It's kind of... Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. Bang. Do, do, do. too loudly oh come on just just load the soup get those facts out of chat how about the <laughs> uh oh Oh, polar bear. I don't remember. I think it's just cloth. I will need help collecting that because I don't typically go out and collect a bunch of cloth. You know? Uh, as far as, like, the lights, I'm not worried about that. That's just metal frags. I, assu assuming Carson has done his thing, um, metal frags are not hard to get. 
So yeah. Cloth is kind of just one of those like annoying things to get. Although if you scrap enough and you and you scrap the clothing that you pick up, then no problem. You know what I mean? Are you saying you're part of the pole? Yep. Yes. L3 FT 4D3 at Cheerdex 100. Friends wave at friends. I did not get a wave. You're right, laugh. Thanks for the bets. Yeah, I got you, Blue Bear. I got you. I should have turned there, chat. We'll take the scenic route. We're just driving. <laughs> Hey, oh, that, that that trailer lean though. The load's a little little wopsided. That's why. Just a little bit. It'll be all right. It'll buff. We're just gonna jump the ditch. Like it wasn't even there. The speed of the JCB. Am I right? I mean, come on. Just saying. Oh yeah. It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to uh, uh, the Christmas event in Rust. I really am looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good time. Hopefully starting tomorrow night for us, chat. Hopefully. I only see you do, like streaming maybe, maybe twice. Uh, Rust, that is. Like once at the beginning and then once like later on, maybe, maybe Christmas Eve. Because that's a Sunday, right? Maybe like a little short stream Christmas Eve or something if I'm home. I don't know what our schedules are yet. Um, that could be fun. Kind of show off everybody's builds and, and stuff. You know, I don't know how many people are going to participate, but I'm here for it. Polar Bear's here for it, it sounds like. Oh, yeah. Wow, left. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how many other people are going to participate, but hopefully. Right? That would be funny, Sean. Just fire up Russ, stare at my house, go into go into God mode even, so I can't be killed. And then just, just have my house, and then just, that's it. Or maybe like inside my house, you can stare at like a fireplace and some Christmas lights or something. How about that, Sean? 24 hour Christmas, no John stream. Thoughts, chat? That would be funny. That would be, that would be very amusing. I'm here for it, chat. Good. I cannot back up to save my life. <laughs> All right. Need still watch. Fireplace Christmas tree, right? No pallets. I already sold them, Mickey. Um, I think we're done for now, right? For this go around, we need to fast time, but uh, the thing we have to watch eventually, we're gonna have to haul product up here. Um, uh, because we have, you know, we have stuff, but uh, Trent's still not here, so we're just gonna fast time this way, and yeah, we'll be good. Last time our day away, chat. Still find a way to be late. Wow. Wow. The 24 hour montage of all the clips. That would take so long to edit, Scoot. Just saying. <laughs> Should have maybe came up with this idea like six months ago. <laughs> Because that would take forever. Rolling that out there. 
That would that would be a that would be a project, okay? That would definitely be a project. All right, so we are currently making the last little bit of flour that we have. We don't have a lot, but we're making that. Our triple soup. We're making that. Uh, we're also baking bread. We have bread now, chat. Hooray. Yeah, Mickey moved it all. Uh, left like 60, 50, 8,000, 50. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and then we have our preserved food that was, is also being made. So we just need to watch this number here. These numbers. We don't want them to run out. Uh, but otherwise, we're down to fast time. Our fields don't need anything. We're good there. I would fast time the fast way, but Trent's not here. So. I can't do that. But yeah. Wow. Okay. All out of context content. Con context content. Say that five times fast, huh? <laughs> Con context content. Whew. That's a tug twister right there. <laughs> That's the tug twister right there. All right, here comes our snow. Oh, when do we sell uh when do we sell bales? Or do we even want to we probably don't even want to worry about that, right? We have some wrapped bales. Uh, which would be silage. Silage. We should sell in January. And then we have some straw barrels. Which we should sell in December. So we'll take a look at that. 139. 139. Are you out of your mind? So we, can, we can probably sell our round bales. Uh, which for that, I think we're going to get a trailer. I was thinking about this guy. This is what I was thinking about for round bales. But like. I like Christmas it, you know? Thoughts chat. I think that's a yes, right? That should be a W right there. You know what? This will also do. Aha. Uh -huh. Buy that. We're buying it. Let's stop time actually and we can sell those bales. Um, and probably clean up the other factories too because like. It's a good enough price. It's actually a high price still, so we'll just go ahead and send this to. Send this first, and then we'll go grab the bales. Basically, you're just going to sell, like, preserved food, like, every day. Let's be honest. Kind of what it's going to come down to. And eventually, we'll probably put this on selling. Just to let it sell every day and just roll the money, but... Right now, we'll keep it on storing. And we could store this up. I wouldn't mind having, like, one of the warehouse buildings somewhere. And we fill it up and sell, like, once a year, twice a year, whatever. But we don't have that right now. Oh. Mickey, my bad. I always forget about everybody needing perms. I wish it would save that from map to map. I wish that was a server thing, not a map like save thing, you know? That would be nice in my opinion. But yeah, what do I know? Dude, so I'll probably go grab a different trailer and put that other, or different tractor. Put that trailer on it. That's, that's my thought right now anyway. I don't know. All right, I bought bales, not bales. These are pallets, John. 
I have pallets. Let's go grab the jaw deer works. A freebie. Which I just noticed it's always repaired too. Unless somebody we can't repair this. I tried earlier to repair the I didn't try to repair, but the tip the tippers it wouldn't let me repair. So I wonder if this thing just always lives like repaired. This is a very strange looking trailer, by the way. It is so red. <laughs> it's so red. All right, so we're going to have to do the... We got to get it set, right? And I know I could just... Oh. Is that all the bales this thing holds? Oh, no. I was thinking it was going to stand them, like, the other way. Where are we taking these, Jet? Do, do, do. Straw 149. Animal dealer. Where's that at? Oh, it's up north. All right, let's go. Up north we go. I had no idea that's how it stacked the bills. I've never actually used this trailer. I've never once used this trailer. At least the modded version. Never once. Interesting. This is gonna suck when we go to bail all of our fields. Oh man. Oh, and it doesn't. You have to do that. Okay. Sixteen thousand three fifty-five plus another nineteen hundred and forty-three dollars for those bales. That's not terrible, honestly. Not terrible. Maybe isn't great, but it's not terrible. That's basically free money. I mean, we got to pay for the little bits of lease the baler the, that made these bales. But that's basically free money. But we're okay with that. We're okay with it. Alright. There's only a couple trips here, so it won't be that bad. Well, Mickey just sold $92,000. Let's go. I'm here for it. Over a million bucks, chat. What will we spend it on? You know, I'll spend it on something, right? What planter is the biggest for the new crops? Uh, the biggest one for the new crops would be uh, this guy right here. So it is six meters, six miles per hour. And little pro tip for you, Big E, if you're, if you're doing this, those are the seed hoppers. That's it, okay? Which this vegetable seed is very small. Uh, but what we do is we actually come over here and we put, which one are we using? Not that one. We're using the horse one, but you could use this one. This is base game. Uh, but like I said, we're using the horse one. Put this on the front of your tractor and uh, run, run the seed in there. You put this on the front of your tractor, fill it up with seed, and then uh, you can seed for days. Little pro tip for you. I didn't come up with that. I actually left it, I think. Spend it on Christmas lights. That's a great idea, Obels. Sweet. Uh, if I had that kind of money laying around, I probably would have more Christmas lights, yeah. <laughs> just saying I've always said chat because I really like where I live I don't mind this neighborhood I, I do wish it was I don't want to say gated but I wish you couldn't cut through my neighborhood to get like to the other part of town where my neighborhood kind of like it's it's quite a cut through okay 
And apparently when my parents first moved in here, um, it wasn't as much of a cut through and there were actually like barricades or something that would keep people from cutting through here as much. Like I said, wasn't gated, but kind of barricades or something. I would totally bring that back and, that, and, and even maybe cut the neighborhood off if you like, you know, so you can't cut through. Cam, what's going on? How are you? And uh, I would love, how cool would this be, chat? If I bought every, say, okay, we're talking lottery, like a big lottery, okay? We're dreaming here, chat, okay? We're dreaming. Dreaming big, okay? Buy every house on my street, okay? Buy every house on my street. And then most of the people who could stay, because they're pretty cool. They're pretty chill. A couple of the people I'd have to, you know, <laughs> you'll get the boot, right? Okay. Hey, bye. Here's here's some here's some money. You're going away. You know, go find somewhere else to live. And then every house gets like absolutely just all out for Christmas, right? How sick would that be? All right, just go buy a house behind a gate somewhere and don't worry about this neighborhood <laughs> ever again. That's probably the better idea. All right, like I've said in the past, I'd like to keep this house. Like, say I did win the lottery, which I know will never happen. L3FT 4D3 at Cheer Dex 100. Build a wall. It will be great wall. Build a wall. But left, who's going to pay for it? I mean. I have nice of the bits. Uh, anyway, uh, I would like to keep this house as like a family... A family like get together house like party house basically put the big room out back mom always wanted uh, she always wanted a big room out back we just never never did it never had the money but uh and then just keep it so like every 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 birthday party every uh holiday we would all get together at our childhood home how cool would that be just saying the lawnmower neighbor could move or need to buy a robot. Yeah, I would. He would be one. He would be one. The next house up from him actually would be another one. I would tell the tell to leave. Uh, I haven't talked about those neighbors hardly at all online, but like they're cool. They're bad. <laughs> they're really bad. And then that's about it that I would tell to leave. The rest of them are all pretty chill, pretty cool. I don't mind the rest of them. Yeah, they're all pretty chill. My neighborhood's pretty quiet. Outside of cars driving way too fast, which is why I'd want to, like, make the street kind of private in a way. All right, are we... I'm going to fast time one more for the silage. Because that's not a great price for that. So let's go another day. But I'm going to go ahead and get loaded up here. Because why not? Although those are a different size bale, so I'm going to have to play the game here. I bet I passed it. Come on. All right, oh, I can buy all these bales in here, can't we? Holy cow. That holds all the bales. All the marshmallows. There we go. All the marshmallows. 77,000. And where's this probably going to go? Animal dealer? Let's go. Yep. Best tipper. I uh, really anything, Biggie. Something like not tiny, because the capacity or the yield's pretty decent on that stuff. Yield's okay with it, and then 
I would say you want a little bit longer trailer because, you know, matching speed and stuff, uh, you know. It's just nice to have a little bit longer of a trailer, that's all. So, those would be my thoughts on that. Uh, we've been running... Um, we have these claws trailers, and they're okay, but they're not, you know, not real. There's, It's just not a lot there, right? We also have one of these Michelin. Wait, that's not the Michelin trailer. Oh, we had one of these. It was a lease deal. That one was nice. We have this guy, this one right here, this Agriliner. This one's pretty good because it's a longer trailer. Plus it holds a fair bit, 37. So it's not bad. I don't mind that trailer at all. Uh, 586, we're just going to take that price and move on. $45,000 and that was bonus money, Dave and John. And I'm not sure who else. I don't know if Bear helped with that or not, but the, the boys did uh, some bailing contracts. So that was bonus bailing contract money. Um, is what that was. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good, chat? Oh, and cinnamon chip bread. <laughs> I know random, but like, uh, uh, one cinnamon chip. Yeah. All right, we got just. I forgot how the bread spawned in this game. Oh, Scoot, you did some. Okay, I say I don't remember who. I just know. The boys. Come on. There's so many options. Chat, we might have cheated here with this trailer. I don't think that's uh here we go. Quite where it needed to be. Scoot helped with the bales of silage. There you go. Might not be able to maneuver in here very well. Jeez. And this is where I don't think a semi truck would be uh, very helpful on this map, to be honest. All right, we haven't checked the shop lately. Nothing that we need. Let's go grab some soup. We have soup to, or bread to go with our soup, chat. Let's go, huh? Let's go. Good soup. Definitely good soup. Saturday night after stream. Saturday. In the park. A bread bowl. Yeah. Okay, Mickey's grabbing soup. Mickey's got the soup under control. Alright, so let's go up to preserved food. Back to the And we probably need to haul some in soon. Yeah, we're down to a hundred thousand, so we need to probably haul into there soon we are out of stuff to make flour which is fine because we have all that barley that has been planted Just saying sean you know as much as you've been talking about panera lately i i want to go to panera and buy all the junk all the cookies all the bagels dude they're chocolate chip bagels and cream cheese get out of here you know i want to go so bad and then i'm like no you're gonna spend like a hundred dollars on three things because <laughs> you know panera but like i kind of want it but i'm not going to 
I'm kind of excited tonight, Chad. I, I be like, I've made this before, and Dad's never, Dad doesn't remember it, but like, we talked about this the other day in chat. I have cornbread in my house right now. My sister made us the other day. And it's starting to get a little dried out, you know, which is perfect for what I'm making tonight. I got baked beans and hot dogs. So, you know, I'm totally doing that. And then uh, I think I'm going to make a, like a, like a tater casserole to go with it. It's about to be a good dinner up in the house tonight. You know what I'm saying? We're about to have some delicious food tonight. I'm excited. I can't wait. Can't wait. Let me buy that plot of land. What is that plot of land? 102. Plot 102. For $70,000. It's not flat. Need flat land on this map. I was thinking we could put a uh, a thing there, like a storage building. Okay, Chad, I'm kind of here for this trailer right now. <laughs> Who's here for this trailer right now? You know, you know what I mean. All right, it's basically empty right now, but we'll just keep it rolling. Ever thought about getting a wheel for farms? Um, I used to play on a certain one. This is Walker Scoot's wife. What's up? How you doing today? Hope you're feeling all right. Oh, oh boy. Can we back this? Oh boy. Oh boy. The articulation chat. So it's saying it's full. It can totally hold one more pallet. There it is. Okay, so we are full. 4,000 liters of bread. And then 26,000 carat preserved. Preserve whatever. Uh, 28,000. Uh, what's that? Parsnip and 20, 26,000 rat uh, parsnip. Jeez. Words are hard. Words are so hard, chat. Golly. I'm hauling a lot, is what I'm trying to say, okay? <laughs> Sitting in the doctor's office, freaking out. They're the best, aren't they? So, we're going to think about, like, Okay, here, all right. Thanks for that follow, appreciate you, welcome in. How's it going? This is something completely random. Hey, Scoot's wife, Miss Walker. We're gonna talk about this. I randomly, I know this is weird. There's two things that I have up on a different monitor right now, up on one of my top monitors. Okay, one of them is a camera that watches train tracks. Okay, it's up in it's up in Missouri. It's a little town in Missouri, and they have a camera that just it's a little train station actually, and Amtrak stops there, which that's not the interesting part to me. The interesting part to me, okay, is these freight trains that roll through here, and they fly. They have five or six engines, locomotives, whatever you want to call them. Okay. And the amount of Amazon like shipping containers that are on these trains are absolutely insane. Okay, that was two hundred and forty three thousand dollars plus another twenty nine thousand in bonus. I'm here for it, chat. Okay, but the amount of Amazon containers that are moving across northern Missouri on a train. I just started to watch this camera last night and I'm not like sitting here staring at it, but like when I see a train roll by, I'll like, you know, pay attention to it. It is insane. It is insane how many Amazon containers are moving. That's all I have to say. Think about that. It's random. I know. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then the other one, and this one, this one's going to make me sound like a nerd. Uh, if the train one didn't make me sound like a nerd, this other one. You know, it's 
it's random. It is a uh, a lock and dam on the Mississippi River up in Iowa. And like, I don't know why. There's just something fascinating. Uh, the doors are closed right now, and the lock has water in it. So the, the, the lock is like on the high side right now. And it's just amazing to see how much water these like doors are holding back. It's incredible. So think about those two things, and that'll calm you down or put you to sleep or I don't know what. <laughs> bore you to death i don't know <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> uh, oh gosh chat why am i single i don't know i'm not sure <laughs> looks like a good parking job right um how are our fields chat fields are um a growing growing <laughs> oh gosh you'll add you don't need to add anything to extra life no way good oh man I, yeah uh -huh. Mississippi River barge traffic I mean come on I've actually listened to barge traffic before on this, like, a scanner. And then literally these two dudes were talking about, like, a barbecue they were having coming up this weekend. Uh, something viral. Don't cough in my direction, please. Horse feed the trailer. Ah, trailer's fine. We're doing, we're doing great. We're doing great. You can check the sale barn, though. We get a uh, toe behind round. Why does it go to pink automatically? That's weird. Uh, toe behind bail wrapper. It's actually kind of cool, but we don't need it. That's kind of cool. It's a stationer. Like you, you haul the bales to it, I believe. Some of that go valve stuff's actually kind of kind of cool. Just saying, it's actually kind of cool. John has money. Watch out. I didn't realize we had 1.6 million. We are kind of rich right now, chat. Thanks a lot, out of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at least it's not something like, I don't know, something worse, right? Right, 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 right. Last half full kind of guy. Try to be anyway. It's not always easy, though. I'll be honest. Raymond, what's going on, man? How you doing today? What's popping? What is popping? All right. Um, let's see. We need another little bit on our fields. Um, we do need to switch so you can grab a tipper here soon. Or Mickey, if you want to grab a tipper. I know you're working on soup. Uh, whenever, if you want to grab a tipper, you can. We have stuff hiding in the train, so. We have stuff hiding over there. Just chilling. I'm doing great. Doing great. I'm having a good day. Today's been, uh, it's been a good day. Okay, our, our, that is fine. That's all good. We're out there. Okay. Check the sale barn. Got to keep checking the sale barn. Even though we have a few dollars, we have to keep checking the sale barn trap. Uh, too high, Diesel. Two, two layers. Yep, two layers. So right there. Now we are full. Oh, my. Chat, don't look. Chat, don't look. Chat, don't. Chat, don't look. Uh, Sean, I know it's break time. We'll take break here in a minute. Flower is stacked. Full outside. I'm assuming outside the bakery. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Don't look. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, 
out, out, out now. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, I really did a number two, didn't I? I really did it, chat. No. No. You gotta straighten out. Come on. Yeah, I'm on. Yep. Yeah, but. Eh. Nine one one. Chat. Do you guys know the number to nine one one? I think I have some head trauma after that rollover. Whoopsie. So that's the reason I don't want to use the semi uh, auto load trailer. It rolls. So apparently this one does too. Hooray. And then nine in the UK. Okay. All right. There's another $200,000. Let's go, Mickey. Mickey selling that soup chat. Good soup. Triple soup is worth some money, man. I'm here for it. All right. Uh, Mickey, the train building that's on the east side of the map has carrots, parsnips, and beets in it. If you want to haul those or start working on hauling those up to the preserved food factory, fill that back up with uh, whatever we have left. Yeah. Three soup. It is called triple soup after all. <laughs> Three soups in one. Yes, it is. All right. Well, there's two million dollars. Let's go, chat. Let's go. And our field should be uh, ready here in a minute. Nothing we need in the sale barn. I kind of like that baler, but I think we'll go with one of the DLC ones. It is a square baler, though. But they don't have to haul the bales very far, so that rounds with this trailer will be fine. Will be just fine. Love how you can cheese that. I do like cheese. No, that's not the cheese you're talking about, but I do like cheese. That trailer's broke. Because I just sold it all, Sean. All right, fields need another day. Hmm. We don't need that. We don't we don't need a combine, right? Oh, it's because I have to uh, take the straps off, Sean. All these auto load trailers get they get weird like that. Yeah, they get a little strange with it. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna do this trap. I think this works on this tractor. Na 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 getting jiggy with it. It's a lot easier to control this way, believe it or not. Because your steer tires are closer to the trailer. The concentration is still there. But it's easier to it's easier to Put the trailer where you want it like this. The big thing is small movements. Only drive a little at a time. Look at that chat, huh? Huh? That was beautiful, right? Tractor needs fuel. Yeah. I mean, we can't get those pals over there. But that's fine. It'll buff. We do need this little skitter, though, right, chat? 
That's a joke. Joke. Oh no, we're almost out of stuff here. Okay, we need one more day. It'll be about perfect. It'll be about perfect. Hooray! Hooray! I don't actually know. Actually, how much do we have in storage? Nineteen. Yeah, we have a lot of carrot. Lots of carrots. Which is fine. It's all good. Pull a Trent and just manhandle them. I did. But see, now we're set up. When they spawn, they go right on her. Just wait for it, I swear. It might be out. Oh, it's not quite out. It's got to get to 2,000 per pellet. Boom. How neat is that? Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome in. So I'm going to guess if we were trying to do... Tom Cattle's cheered X100. Avodico. Quesson. R. Dobcat. What's going on? Love the name, by the way. Thanks for the bits, bro. What mod does what, Diesel? What mod does what, Diesel? All right, fields are ready. About to rain. We're going to go ahead and stop time. Yep. Crops are ready. Factory's empty. The follows are coming in. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome. How's it going? The fields are ready, Jots. Auto load. That's uh, so it's actually two different mods. You gotta run the auto load script and the trailer pack, Diesel. But we've been running these trailers for absolutely ever. This is a base game trailer, just modified to have auto load. That's all. And even the little blue trailer that we have, that's an in game trailer, just modified to have auto load. So, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. This one's got sides that fold down, so if you're loading bales or pallets, you could drop the sides. Kind of cool. I like it. Plus, for hauling pallets, this is going to be the way to go, man. I'm hauling, like, way more than I can with the other trailer. Just saying. This is basically like running a semi semi truck. It holds more, but like, not much more. Maybe a third more, maybe another layer. I guess not bad, not bad at all. To be honest, not bad. All right, we need to uh, sell this. Another $200,000 plus. I am so here for this chat. And we're going to send this guy to the shop. And we're going to send this guy uh, to the shop. Because that's close to the homestead. We need to send him to the shop. Yeah, we'll probably end up with more than one of these trailers, Sean. Uh, at some point. We're going to send this guy to the shop. Just to get them all home. Alright, makes sense. And then, um, y'all, it is harvest time. But, before harvest time, I got to go take my break. Alright? So, 3 o'clock break. And then, it's going to be full on. Mswalker three one Harvest. four two Oach Eardex three hundred. Another tractor going. Ah, uh, he took another turn, Sean. That's all. He'll get there. Uh, Walker, they, uh, Ms. Walker, uh, Scoot's wife. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the three, the hundred bits. Thanks for the bits. All right, we're gonna turn off that. This is the, uh, the DLC map. Uh, Zilonka, or however you want to say it. 
Chat, I will be back in a couple of minutes.